Let's do something different today. Here's how to make sauerkraut. Get a white cabbage and take the first leaf off and put that to one side for later. Next, we're gonna take out the core and then we need to weigh our cabbage. This is important so we know exactly how much salt to use. So I always write it down. Next, you need to finely slice your cabbage. I find the finer the better. Once that's all ready in a bowl, let's go do some maths. You need to times your mass by 0.03. This gives us our 3% salt, which is important because that's what's going to help us ferment this without getting any nasties in there as well. So once you've done that, slap it in a bowl, give it a real good mix, massage it in until all the liquid starts coming out. And then it's time to get into a nice clean glass jar. You can use plastic, but I tend to use glass. Push it all down so it's nice and tightly in there. And then if you remember, we had that leftover leaf. Put that on the top and as you push it down, you should see that on top of it, it gets coated with liquid. Slap the lid on and we'll see you in two weeks. Okay, so two weeks later, well, actually it's about four weeks because life. But anyway, let's check on this. So what we can do is we can just take off that top leaf and we'll throw that away. And then let's have a little smell. Mmm, smells tangy, absolutely lovely actually. And let's try some. Mmm. Okay, so it's different from the shop bought stuff. It's still really crunchy because it hasn't been pasteurized. It's tangy, it's lost a lot of that saltiness and it's lively, nice and vinegary. This will go really, really well with anything you put it with. It's also great for the probiotics. Absolutely delicious.